Hey everybody, it's Dave BV here at uh, the market in Maryville in the Beer Den. And we are fortunate enough today to have Scott from Schlafly out of St. Louis. Uh, everyone's really digging the beers here locally and uh, he's gonna run through some of the brews and give us some info. There you go, Scott. Yeah, happy to be part of the uh, the brew mob uh, here in Knoxville. It's pretty awesome. Uh, so we got some new seasonal beers and uh, some some really cool stuff going on with Schlafly right now. So we thought we'd go through a few of the beers, uh, starting first with the summer lager, uh, one of our summer seasonals. So it's a, a Munich Helles style lager. It's gonna be a little maltier than say a Pilsner. You get that nice kind of toasty malt character. Um, so this will be in 12-pack cans throughout the summer, so you know if you're out on the lake or you're golfing, it's a, it's a great package for that. Uh, we also can our Hefebison, which, uh, which is out available seasonally just through the summer as well. So we'll be, be on the lookout for those as well as in bottles. Uh, the other summer seasonal we have is the Raspberry Hefebison. Uh, really interesting beer. Um, you know, fruited wheat beers, a lot of breweries will use extract for their fruit. We actually use real puree for the raspberries. Uh, the raspberry puree is added before fermentation, so a lot of the residual sugars get fermented out of the raspberries. So you get this nice, nice wheat beer character up front with a nice tart raspberry finish behind it. So really, really nice beer. It's very refreshing for the summer. You know, if it's 95 degrees outside, the last thing you want is a real sweet beer. So. Uh, the next two are ones that I'm very excited about. Uh, these are our new uh, new beers and what we're calling our Can Session Series. So um, the American Brown Ale, it's a 5% brown ale, uh, obviously the American take on it, so it's a much hoppier style. You know, we use uh, Simcoe, Centennial, Chinook, um, so you definitely get some of that kind of piney, citrusy character along with the caramel uh, character of the brown ale, a little bit of roast as well. Uh, the other one is the IPA, so it's a sessionable IPA at 4.5%, very light in body, but great aroma. Uh, it's mostly Amarillo in the dry hop, but we add a little bit of Polish Magnum that gives it that kind of dank hop character. So it's an incredibly drinkable IPA if you're into the, um, the uh, Lagunitas daytime IPA or the Founders All Day IPA, this is a perfect beer and being in the can, you know, same thing with the summer lager, you can take it anywhere. So uh, these two beers will be available year round uh, starting now and then in the fall uh, we'll start some seasonal beers in the cans, uh, so keep an eye out for those. Uh, we have the Hefebison, which I chatted about a little bit before, this is in cans this summer. Uh, it'll be, it's an American wheat beer. so. We don't use the Belgian yeast, we don't use the German yeast, you know, so you don't get the clove or the, the fruit character. It's more about, you know, the, the yeast ferments very cleanly, so you get that nice kind of lemony character from the wheat. Really easy drinking, really nice beer. Um, and then the last one is the Dry Hopped American Pale Ale, which is one of my favorite beers we do. I'm a big hop head, so 5.9%. Um, dry hop with Chinook and Cascade hops, so you definitely get the grapefruit, the pine, um, just a great, great easy drinking APA. Um, so if you're shopping here at the Beer Den and you're looking for something hoppy, uh, you got a couple options and, and very, very different. So, um, so that's just a small amount of what we do. We do a lot of different beers throughout the year. If you come to our tap room in St. Louis, we brew about 50 different styles throughout the year, um, so there's always something new and different. So we're also constantly coming out with new beers, so keep an eye out for us. Uh, there's always something around the corner. So, Scott, on behalf of everybody at the Brew Mob, thank you so much for your time. Looking thank forward you. to drinking some of those beers. Cheers. Cheers.